Hi, I'm Stefan Papadakis. Today we're going to build a 2JZ short block. This is for Jonathan Castro, who's a drifter from Dominican Republic. This is actually going into one of his demo cars that he's going to ship back to Dominican Republic and even do some of the Latin uh, competitions with in other Latin countries. We're going to assemble this with the factory forged crank, but we're using BC rods and then JE's new stocking piston for the 2JZ. We chose these pistons because they basically are totally featured out and they're a stocking piston. We didn't have a lot of time to build this engine, uh, so we really wanted something that was already in stock. Um, this is really cool because it has the new thermal barrier top coating, their perfect skirt uh, side coating, skirt coating, and it also has a super buff pin. So this is a tool steel pin, but it's really thick wall. So over a thousand horsepower is like no problem for this piston rod combination. It's also built on JE's new forging technology, which I guess has a specific grain flow to make the whole piston stronger. And for a 2J where you're commonly making over a thousand horsepower, um, that's important. All right, now let's get started with this thing. We'll measure everything up and then we'll bolt it all together. So I'm measuring the piston diameter with what they call a blade micrometer. The tips of the mic actually have to be a little bit smaller than a traditional one to fit on the little pad, the little hole there in the perfect skirt coating. The purpose of the perfect skirt coating is that on racing pistons, uh, they grow more than like an OE piston, so you run more piston to wall clearance. They're a little bit looser in the bore. So this will help with some of the cold start piston knock and also reduce skirt and bore wear. So I always like to wipe down all of the parts that I get, um, regardless of the, the company, the rods, pistons, pin bores, all that stuff, uh, to get all of any kind of like anti-rust lube that they put on there uh, before we put our own assembly lube on it. I like to hold it with the exhaust valve reliefs towards me and I will install the oil ring tension spring and I like to point the little ends down and then the oil rings, the bottom one, I'll overlap the gap in the spring and I usually run them about 20 degrees or so over from the gap. That one will be to the right of the gap. This one's going to be to the left of the gap. Again, about 20 degrees. Spiral that on. And then put the cast ring on, the second ring. This has a little N. The N goes up. And these don't like to be torsionally twist. They can crack. So what I'll do is I'll put both ends in that second groove. And then I'll pry it open, keeping it supported in the back. And then get that on. And then, same thing, the letter goes up, and the top rings are okay to spiral on. And just be careful with the end of the ring that you don't scratch the piston on the way down. So I'm holding it the exhaust side down. I put the oil ring gaps are at basically uh, like four o'clock and eight o'clock with the oil ring expanding spring gap in the middle. The 
second ring, I put it at about 10.30, and then the top ring, put it about 4.30, opposite of that. So thanks for watching the short block build. Had a lot of fun doing it, and we'll see you in the next video.